Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I'm going to tell you another story. This is a little bit complicated, so I'm not, I am go I'm not sure I'm going to remember it correctly, but I, I think I will, and uh, you'll be amazed uh, at, at how it actually worked. What I had back in my radio teletype days was a, I believe it was called a Western Union 102, but anyway, it was a big, heavy, old teletype machine that had survived a fire. It did not have one of those reperf tape, paper tape uh, players in it, so uh, when I sent my CQs, I had to send them manually. And I wasn't a very good typist. Well, uh, uh, one of my uh, fellow Ritty enthusiasts that I Rittied with regularly um, offered a solution. He said, send me your CQ just at the speed you would send it and I'll make my reperf record your CQ. You know, those little it was a paper tape about an inch wide with those little holes in it. Uh, those of you who uh, remember this will remember it. And those of you who never were exposed to it probably don't have the foggiest idea of what I'm talking about. But I'm relating to the old timers here. Uh, he, so he recorded it and then played it back to me. He played my CQ back to me. Now, when, now when the, 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 the legality of that kind of, of operation is questionable, but I think that uh, in the context it was all right. He played that back to me, and I recorded it in an old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, a vacuum tube-based reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder that my parents had bought in the 1950s and never used, so I made use of it. And so I recorded my CQ at full 60 words a minute speed, standard ready speeds back in those days. And uh, then I would play back that recording into my HAL ST5, which would decode it into impulses that my teletype machine could understand and could also um, cause the transmitter to transmit that CQ not as a recording from the tape recorder but as actual impulses uh, by switching a little capacitor in and out of the VFO of the Drake T4X. Are you following me? What I did was I Sent, my, sent him my CQ, he recorded it on paper tape, played it back to me full speed, I recorded his signal on an old reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, which then transcribed that back into digital impulses, which were switched in and out of a VFO by means of uh, adding more or less capacitance to shift the frequency. <laughs> I had figured that out uh, in my Drake T4X. So I was actually sending my own CQ full speed by means of such a roundabout, convoluted, but technically sound process. Uh, it amazes me to this day that, that the two of us got together and thought that up. And the oldness of the equipment just seems so bizarre to me today. A reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder, I believe it was three and three quarters inches per second, or if you wanted really good quality, you'd double that to seven and one half inches per second speed. Or if you had a something that was just voice and you needed to record for a long time, you could run it at half of that, um, one and seven eighths or something like that. It was like, like one of those old turntables, except on tape. And it was vacuum tube based, of course. The T4X was vacuum tubes. 
The R4A that went with that, the receiver, was also vacuum tubes. My keyer used vacuum tubes. About the only thing in the station that didn't use vacuum tubes, there were two things. The teletype printer and my brain. Although you might argue that my brain still uses vacuum tubes. And I would not venture to disagree with you there. But that, I just think that's the weirdest thing that, that actually worked and it sent out a legitimate, perfectly legitimate frequency shift keyed CQ from WA0OKV, WA0 Ocean Kilo Victor, although in teletype it was just letters on paper. It wasn't even Morse code, but in Morse code, I would of course have been da 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 When I wanted to get into serious DXing, I got the two letter call in Connecticut. Da 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 now you people who are old time hams are probably still with me. The rest of you have doubtless dropped me by now out of sheer boredom. You don't have you don't have any idea what this old coot is talking about. But you fellow old timers, <clears throat> I'll have been a ham fifty years, by the way, in only a short five months. I deserve a two letter call like W one G V. Da 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 Saying 73 from the black holes of Dakota Toritary United States of Amateur Radio, which means best regards in ham radio jargon. And so long, which means in regular old Morse code, da 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 da.